Multi.tv. Welcome back to the Australian Beach Ultimate Championships. I'm Rob Swan. I'm Oakley Ryan. It's our pleasure to have you here for the final game of the day. Newcastle's Pie Wagon against Sydney's Buff. These teams coming from large clubs that have been around for quite some time and these are just the latest incarnations of these teams. It's going to be interesting to see which of these teams comes out on top. They're both quite strong teams. If gambling wasn't scourge of the nation, I would put my money on Pie Wagon for this game. I'd agree with you there, Rob. Uh, Pie Wagon had a really good game this morning against Sandstorm. Uh, we came out really, really strong and showed their dominance. I haven't seen any of the other games throughout the day, but I can only assume that they've been dominating it. Yeah, and looks like more of it to come. Stoddard with a pull and... Buff coming out in this 2-3 horror. Barnes with a disc. Finds Plummer on this close sideline. Plummer shoots long. There's a hand on that one, but it's dropping into the hands of his receiver. Buff with some patience early in the game. Not able to reset effectively. Only oh, just able to get that one off. And they go wide. Norm says the moment and oh. Just a bit of a miscommunication on the dump there. Roxborough unable to hold that one. Pie Wagon. Off to the races down, going the other way. Start out in the middle, just free as a bird. Amends it to Sinclair. Sinclair looks long, but that is just too far for his receiver. So the teams not converting on their longer shots so far in this first point of the game. Both teams with uh, easy, small little errors there. Uh, really wanting to clean that up for you know for consistency later on in the game because later on in the you know in the draw uh, they're going to get punished for those turnovers. Yeah, we'll see how we go. So great big strong under undercuts at the moment. Buff working well. Roxborough with a disc doesn't have any options. Goes around. And the shot goes up, Roxburgh's underneath it, and he's got the read on that one. So Buff with no cutters in the end zone yet. Stalk count rising. Oh, looks to the inside, nice great shoulder fake. Helen Jones, easy as you like, and that's a 1-0, Buff up. Good composure there from Buff. Uh, they, had, they had no one there in the end zone after Roxburgh got that deep shot. He... Uh, Use, yeah, used the whole 10 seconds, kept his timing, kept his composure, managed to find the goal in the end zone. Potsy looks, you know, looks great in that 2-2. Too, too. Resplendent is the word I would use. Resplendent. Buff going to be coming out with the pull. Once they've finished talking tactics here. Pie wagging wanting to get on the board. Signal coming up. Sean Reed with the pull for Buff. Straight out the back of the end zone there. Picked up by Potsy. There better be way less bricks tomorrow. I can only hope so, Rob. Sean Reed's a great thrower. Maybe he's just trying to show off and see how far he can put it. But no one's impressed, Sean. Landed in the field. Potsy bringing the, bringing the disc in at the brick line. Stoddard going deep. Not on. Find Seckhold to Stoddard. She looks long. That's an amazing Score. grab. Score! Cool with a disc. Wow, that's Score really there. efficient offense from Pie Wagon. Just a few shots and then dropping that one in. Really well read by Coom. And we'll get in the space and just take that as a nice, easy grab. And that's a nice, easy goal for Pie Wagon. Give themselves a real nice start to this game. Some very nice, clean offense there from Pie Wagon. They'll definitely be wanting to continue that.
and now it's bus turns to go into the sun. So there's been a, a bit of a break in the clouds way off to the left of the camera and the sun is spearing right into the eyes. You can see all those buff players shielding themselves with their hands or hats. It's going to be interesting to see if that affects any of the players going in any direction. Staring into the sun and able to catch the disc. Seems like it might be all the buff players holding their holding their arms up to their eyes, trying to trying to at least create a bit of a visor. Just the angle of the sun as it's starting to set now is definitely going to be creating some havoc out in the field. That's all right. I'm sure they put a plenty of sunscreen on their eyes. Taking a little bit of a time between points here, but uh, Greenfield with a pull, and that is a veteran's pull. Look how in the field it is. Sec Barnes with a disc, finds Plummer. Plummer back to Barnes. Buff moving very well at the start. Adlington with a disc here. Oh, and that's an unbelievable bid. Greenfield pouncing immediately. <coughs> so. It's been an uncontested foul, I think, there, Rob. Yeah, yeah, well, that's all right. Greenfield, a very spirited player, and I'll come back and stay with Ford. So, Buff with another chance here. Resetting backwards to Barnes. And advancing up. Doing a great job here. Jones to the disc. Look, goes back into the middle. Ford. Barnes wide. Finds Plummer. That's a diving grab. That's a great grab from here. That was a great grab. Oh, that was a bit of a bump there Plummer from Greenfield. Over the top to Barnes. Barnes is about a metre out. Oh, fakes off the hard throw, goes around, forward with the disc. The range just picked up again. Oh, and then he shot inside, but Greenfield with the foot. Range just started up again, Rob. Uh, we managed to hold off just about all day until now. Yeah, a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon. At least there's a really nice rainbow out as that shot goes. Pie Wagon now knocking on the door. Buiz Ryan with the disc. Oh, and that's a nice flat one. But that's not what we like on the beach. Need a little bit of shape, a little bit of float. Make them forgiving for your receivers. So Plumber will bring it back in for Buff here. And it'll be... Oh, looks at Adlington the under, but she's free deep. Shoots to her anyway. Greenfield reads that one and eats it up. Pie wagon going the other way. Advancing very quickly. Bees one with the disc. Takes her time. Doesn't have a lot of options. Oh, advances it up the field. Yeah, it looks like there's a foul called. number of players on the field at the moment have represented Australia at the Beach World. So, Amy Barnes and Kara Adlington on this buff team were part of the bronze medal and spirit medal winning Masters women's team at the World Beach World Men Championships last year in Royan. Uh, John Greenfield from Pie Wagon also played on the uh, men's Masters team. So, plenty of experience across both teams, not only on beach but also covering the grass. Neil Roxborough from Buff played on that men's masters teams. My apologies for missing him. A lot of talent going around, so you can see that Barnes and Adlington are making an instant impact here. It's just uh, they've been throwers haven't been too kind to them. So Greenfield has the disc here, looks into the end zone, and that is just behind his receiver. Plummer will grab the disc and bring it up for Buff. Plum's got the disc. Ford on the close sideline. Advances up the field. Adlington in the center. Jones on the sideline. Plummer's off to the races out the back. Jones elects to holster. And Barnes free as a bird. Barnes will take the shot. Plummer's in the end zone. And that's a goal for Buff. 2-1. That was some really clinical offense there from Buff. 
Pie Wagon just kept trying to force it into the end zone there mm. and just had some easy turns. Buff able to capitalise on that one there. It took them, a, took them a few shots, but they got there in the end and just worked it down the field nicely. Yeah, big shout out to Helen Jones. Really loved that holster going down the sideline. Plummer was going hell for leather at that end zone. Elected the holster, take her time. Take the open barns and let her throw the shorter distance goal. So great teamwork from Buff, great holster, great discipline, and let's put them up 2-1. All teams seem to be taking a little bit of extra time between uh, between points here, standing on the uh, end zone lines for a little bit longer whilst they sort out their plays and what they're doing. You can obviously tell it's the end of the day and everyone's getting a bit tired. Yeah, definitely have seen an, a distinct increase in between point times as the day has gone across. So it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Might, might get a bit yelled at. <laughs> that was a brick. Jess Stoddard electing to take it from the brick mark. To plane on the far sideline. She looks, she looks, finds Stoddard down the sideline and she puts it up, puts it up. Stoddard underneath it and... That's a honey pass, but he was out. Sometimes she's only got eyes for the honey, <laughs> not for the field. It was a good look, just uh, I guess the space and the execution wasn't quite there. Buff bringing it in now. Has to swing it straight off. Churlin with the disc there. Yet another member of the Masters oh. Men's Beach Worlds teams. Is that that? Just an easy throwaway there from yeah. McKeon. Miscommunication. Churlin's coming back, not going forward. Is Jonathan Potts. Goes to Stoddard, and they really want to see how long his toes are. Turns out, a long Drove enough. Drove the line. Just in. All right, and Pie Wagon level it up 2-2. On the back of some very athletic play from Chris Stoddard. Slowly running out of sunlight here, Rob. Yeah, this big massive grey cloud directly above us is not helping either. And I don't know why winter's a season. Don't like the sun setting. But the universe does what it does. Inevitabilities come to go. And it's 2-2 in this game. Axiomatic truth you can stamp, stamp your name to. This Greenfield will be pulling for Pie Wagon here. Some choice words, a little bit of strat talk going on on the sideline. Might be time for a quarter time adjustment. Great pull there from Greenfield, landed it towards the back of the end zone. Buffering it down the field. Finds Plummer on the far sideline. Centers it to Perryman. Back, oh, drop there from Turlin. It's Ford with the drop there, just. And leaves a deep person, leaves a deep man, and Greenfield just absolutely takes it. And then he gets deed. Jones with a great read and coming on that block. Hayes, a member of the Australian mixed beach ultimate team. Unable to grab that one in under the defensive pressure. It was uh, not a very forgiving throw. Roxburgh a bit rushed on the release there. Oh, Greenfield, Greenfield with the pressure. Plummer with the disc. Finds Turlin. Jones looking deep. Ford with the disc. No options. Floats one up the line. But Jones just turning under, looking for the correct throw and just not ready for the late high stall count swill coming from her teammates. Pie, pie Wagon with yet another chance. It's been a lot of unforced errors. Ali Sekol puts a nice disc up. And then we're just caught by the wind. It looked for about 80% of that pass that it was a beautiful one. It was going to be dropping just in on a receiver. And then that last 10% it did not descend. The wind just held it up just a little bit too much. Plummer finds Perryman. 
to Jones. Plummer's streaming. She holsters it still. Oh, oh, an incredible block. Sinclair coming on the under. Roxborough have a chat about it. Maybe call a foul on that one. And let's have a chat about this and see how we go. I think Sinclair saying that he came through and... And cl cleanly got the, the D. Don't have the benefit of game advisors, but uh, uh, as much as I want to, I probably shouldn't just mime what they're saying. Seems as if everyone's having a bit of a conversation out there, putting their opinion in. Yeah, I think Sinclair's just enjoying the time spent on the ground just at this moment. giving his legs a little bit of a rest. See, Hayes is just... Had a sit down. I mean, you know, if they're going to have a chat for a while, might as well put the kettle on. Contested foul, it appears. Yes, there's no way this is going away uncontested. In fact, it's definitely past the 45 second time, and disc goes back. Contested foul. Disc is Jones back. Jones with the disc for buff. Disc is coming in on four, I just heard. And we're back. Jones with the disc on this far sideline here. Finds Perriman. Oh, turnover. Pyway can pick it up very quickly. Sinclair to Hayes to Greenfield. Scott Seckold puts it up. <laughs> oh, Over Seckold's backup. hair. Finds Coombe. Unreal. So, see, Greenfield had a little bit of a thought about that one. He could fake that off, considered his options, waited for his receivers to get some distance, and then put that one out at the end and maybe over overthought it a little bit, put it just above Seckold's head, but two receivers are better than one. That's exactly right, Rob. It's better to have two people there, one person with the backup, and that's exactly what just happened. Absolutely. That's where you Around about the halfway mark, maybe about 40% of the way through this game. It's been pretty low scoring so far. We've already spent a fair bit of time standing on the end zone lines and there's been a few calls which have taken a little bit of time to sort out, so that can probably account for some of it there. Yeah, I think these teams both sort of happy to play with a little bit of a slower pace. If they're really wanting to push the pace or not let the other team dawdle around have a chat to them on the sideline and ask them to stick to the time limits but looks like a bit of no harm no foul it's a big pull and it's out the back so Cherlin will bring the disc up for buff Slowly and gingerly. Finds Reed. Reed goes around to Barnes. Barnes lays it down the middle. Oh, can't connect with Monaghan. Oh, goes around. Monaghan gets a hand on that. That one too high. Stoddard with a second effort. Stoddard looks inside. Doesn't see any options. Finds Hayes. Great jink to get open there. Hayes goes up the field and is just unable to get it to his receiver. Pine can't reel that in. And Churlin has the disc. Doesn't like what he sees. Goes to Reed. Reed goes to Barnes. That's a break initial continuation they've seen before. Barnes finds Adlington. Adlington finds Churlin. Churlin with the patience here. Churlin and Reed working in a small space. They've done it a lot so far. Reed bidding. Stoddard putting a lot of pressure on there. Reed goes around, sees Churlin. Churlin to Adlington, unbelievable. That's a great offensive hold from Buff. Pie Wagon not making it easy for them, but Buff grinding their way through. Churlin and Reed doing great work in the handler space and just Barnes and Adlington cutting so well on that break side. That was great movement there from Buff. They really used the width of the field to their advantage. Swung the disc, put it back, used the open side, swung the disc, moved it back to the open side. Really made their defense continually guess and then they reaped the benefits of great offense and scored the goal. Yeah, you can see that uh, 
Churl into Reed. Reed with a continuation break to Barnes. It's carbon copy. I've seen a couple times. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's exactly right, Rob. Continue doing what's working for you. Absolutely. If you have a tried and tested move that you can pull off again and again, which yields you both field advantage and power position going down the break side, do it. You feel the day wrapping up here. The sun's dipping. It's getting a bit more in the twilight. It's getting a bit cooler. And there's only a few games left going on around the fields. Other games having finished and teams having wrapped up for the day. Pool goes up by Plummer. Stoddard to Greenfield. He's looking at his options. Looking at his options. Back to Stoddard. She finds Bowie. She's looking, she's looking, she's looking. Finds Coom. Back to Greenfield. Finds Seckold. That's a beautiful goal. That really was great offense there from Highway. Really Wagon. nice. I think it was credit to them to be able to get open on the open side and work it down this close sideline. But I think the real credit for the visionary player goes yet again to Greenfield there. Just faking that open side and just putting that one out. Seckold. No worries, no troubles. Chasing that one down for a goal. Pie Wagon saying to Buff, anything that you can do, we can also do. Clinical offense. Brings it straight down the field, scores a goal. Yeah, I've really settled into trading offenses. Uh, these teams playing quite a disciplined style of ultimate and just moving the disc around, doing what has to be done. Completing it nicely there. Potsy are going to be pulling. Going for the flick pull this time. And it goes far sideline. Churlin. Finds Barnes. Back to Churlin. Oh, misses Monaghan, but it's cleaned up. Back to Monaghan. Uh, intended for Barnes, but a big overthrow being picked up by Potsy. <laughs> Throws a big bladey flick, somehow caught by Stoddard. Incredible bit of a Showing his left-handed prowess. I think there was a bit of a strip there. Yeah. Jonathan Potts. Providing a lot of the uh, firepower at the moment for this pie wagon line. Not afraid to grip it and rip it. He's in the dump Stoddard space demanding the disc. Dumps to Potsy. Back to Stoddard. Looking at his options. To Coom there. Back to Stoddard. To Cortez. Goal to Coom. Very patient, very patient offense on this pie wagon team. There are a number of stoppages, a bit of umming and ahhing, but they were very content to just attack that break side and then find the open player at the front of the end zone. So credit to them. Didn't look very troubled on that last possession. They're very happy even with the stoppage. It doesn't, they don't seem to be losing their momentum, which would generally occur with those types of stoppages when you would lose the flow in your game. Yeah. They seem unaffected by that. Yeah, they've done well. She's maintained composure and keep looking for all the right options, even if everybody has to stop and then restart moving again. And it's given them a two-point lead. That's a break. 5-3, pie, pie wagon up. Yeah, it, uh, interesting to see. Buff came out really, really strong at the start of that game, so pie wagon seemed to have maybe been a bit upset by that, a bit upset by how Buff was going to play, and have now settled into, the, settled into their game. Yeah, it's good to see them really get underway. They've definitely got a raft of talent. Once they really get going, they can do some tremendous stuff. And Buff will fill the pool. Perriman in the centre of the back of the end zone. Finds Roxborough. 
Roxburgh taking his time, selecting an option here. Got Allington in the middle. Takes that late. Plummer wide. Ford's gone long. Plummer elects not to shoot. Probably good choice there. Perriman with the disc. Goes to Ford. Ford will let that one loose. Oh. And Roxburgh's got to turn Roxburgh. around to a pirouette. But still has time to get there. That's a beautiful throw. Put that throw into acres of space there for Roxburgh. His defender was caught facing the wrong direction. Nothing he could do about it except for watch it into his into his opposition's hands. Yeah, it's a tough one. And Roxburgh indeed turned to look to get that under. Shot came up and he still had enough time to do a full 360 and go back and get it. So credit to Ford for putting that one into the air and just getting as much time as possible and making life as easy as possible for his receiver. Buff trying to bring it back now. Uh, Pie wagon up 5-4. Buff with the pool, taking their time here. Yeah, Buff are going to be looking to get a break. They really need it to get back into this game as Reed with another pool, and that one looks a lot better. Fielded by Stoddard to Greenfield, to Seckold. She's surveying her options, puts it back around to Greenfield. He looks like he wants to throw something big. He looks like he wants to throw something big, but he doesn't. He dumps to Seckold. He goes down the sideline, but overthrows Billy John there. Duff have brought, Buff have brought it in to Jones. Finds Jones on that far sideline. She's looking for options. Didn't have many people downfield of her. Looks to dump it. Puts it up. Lake stall count. Oh, it ended up being quite a good option. Just too much pepper on it. Yeah, I think late in the stall count, she wanted to hoof it all the way towards the end zone, and Reed was there, and he knew she was looking for it, so he went far break side, and it was a really good option to, I guess, put a lot of outside in on that and make it sail over to the break side. Uh, but, you know, with not a lot of time and rushing that in at the end of the stall, it was always going to be a big ask. Greenfield brings it in for Piwag. He's looking at his options. Finds Stoddard on a dump. We are on open under to Coombe. Greenfield's going long. Bowie again finds Greenfield. Greenfield finds Coombe. He's looking for his options. Stoddard down the line. She's looking for someone. Dumps back around. Break dump to Greenfield. There's not much happening downfield that he can hit. Puts up the big shot. Oh. And she looks like she tried to toe the line. Has it been called as a goal? Contentious. We haven't got confirmation yet. Yes, it's a goal. Amazing work. So that was great toes, great work there. So players just having a quick discussion about it and uh, just a bit of clarification, make sure everybody's on the same page. And it's good to see. So. Pie Wagon maintaining their lead, maintaining that break, 6-4 to Pie Wagon now. Yeah, good to see the patients working down that far sideline. There's not a lot of space there, and uh, Greenfield not taking that open under, but just floating that out the back, so making it a little bit hard. But, you know, receivers making them look good. Really, it really made his receiver work for that goal there. Someone's got to generate opportunities for highlight plays. we come to the beach, so the ground is soft for when we dive on it. Exactly, the highlight, the highlight reel thanks them. Absolutely. So Buff here, got to come out on offense and stabilize, cause, but that's not where they're going to win this game. They're going to keep themselves in it on offense, but they need to be winning the game on defense. They need to be getting blocks and converting them into breaks at this point. They've shown themselves as good offensively as Pie Wagon, but Pie Wagon have been able to get more blocks, I would say. A very nice pull there from Stoddard. Harriman with the disc to Churlin. So it's to Ford. He pops it up, but just over the head of Monaghan. That's a tough one. It was real, real close. I think Monaghan took a couple of slow steps there. She was checking over her shoulder, ready to come under. Didn't think it was coming that late, but Ford's got the distance on his throws. 
I think you're right there, Rob. Didn't look like she expected that disc to come up. Looked like she was almost going to be hitting the unders. Stoddard bringing it in for Pie Wagon. Just pops it up. Has playing going along. Is she going to get there? Is she going to get there? She won't because Ford had the legs to outrun her. Yeah, it was always going to be a big ask, but Ford making sure of like just screaming into the end zone. And he's rewarded himself with the Frisbee. Disc is now back with Buff. Being brought in by Roxburgh. Perryman on the dump. Looks like they're playing from a vert stack. Dumps it straight away to Perryman. Hits Adlington, center of the field. To Monaghan. Hits Ford on the far sideline. He's looking at his options. Dumps back around to Roxburgh. Doesn't really have anything to go to though. Goes to Ford, I oh, goes to Perryman, sorry. Hits Adlington on the close sideline. They have minimal options though. They really need to give themselves something a bit better to work with. Rocks are with the disc, looking, looking, can't find anything. Needs to dump the disc soon. Finds Adlington on the crossfield dump. She doesn't really have much, so dumps it back to Roxburgh. Punts it up though. Has Ford going long. And oh, he and manages to catch it. That's a grab. A lot of defensive pressure coming there. Hayes in the area, ready to go up for that. But Ford got a little bit of length and he got himself into the position early. That was a great read on that disc. Uh, I don't know if it was Chris Stoddard or Tim Hayes who was uh, playing defense on him there. Managed to almost uh, reverse box them out to then grab the disc over his shoulder. Yeah, it was Tim Hayes in the area there. So just giving up a couple of inches in height to Ford and Ford backpedaling, holding his position and going up for it. As Buff holds there, they're in the position they need to be now. 6-5, pie wagon are up, but this is where Buff takes a stand. They've got to get a block. They've got to get to put it in here. They need to get breaks back to get themselves back into this game. This is where they need to be. Definitely can be anyone's game still, Rob. Uh, Buff, if they continue playing like that, that patient offense, they'll, they'll be able to uh, you know, close this game out. Absolutely. And they've bricked it to start, so they haven't really done themselves any favors here. And then Pie Wagon setting up in this 2 3 Horro. Center cutter starting quite deep. Oh, that's Greenfield and Murray, yet another member of the Masters Men Beach team. Just letting him go under there. Can't take away everything. So Greenfield gets a disc going back around, goes around to Potts. Potts has a disc, looked to the end zone, floats out the flick. Oh, she wasn't quite ready for it. Might have tripped on the tape but just can't get there. Cortez, she had acres of space in that far side of the end zone. Just uh, couldn't get the read on it and looks like she tripped slightly. Oh, well, that's tough. It was always going to be a difficult throw. Potts just looking for the goal. Oh, as the shot goes up, challenge only got I saw Murray, it's Murray Greenfield. It oh, and Greenfield goes up and early. Snatches that one out of the air. Cortez with the disc. Looks off. Potts on the under. Goes around the greenfield. Pie wagon attacking. Potts on the inside. He's got two receivers going long. Shot goes up. Of course it does. Oh, and that's an amazing shot. Well reeled in by Coombe. Pie wagon deserved that one. And that's 7-5. Another offensive hold. Great put from Potts. He really put it out in front of the player. Let his receiver just run onto it. Nice and easy. Put another one on the board for them. Pie Wagon take half, 7-5. There we go. So Pie Wagon up a break going into half as we are just going to take a mirror. No real break time. Not that any of these players need it. They're all elite athletes in the peak of their conditioning. Just a direct swap of ends there. Looks like a little bit of discussion happening. Yeah, it's just the opposite of which end you, you started, started the on. game at, yeah. I guess people are having trouble remembering that. Sorted it out. Yeah, most of the time we get at least a few minutes to wander around and look confused at each other. To try and work out what's going on. 
We've accelerated that because it's new 2018 efficiency is cram all the confused looks into about 10 seconds and then just get straight back to the frisbee. So interesting change here. So buff now starting on defense, going to be coming out with the pull is Ford. Yeah, so that change at half has not been favorable to them. They would have wanted to come out on offense here. Uh, but it's essentially a free break for Pywag. It's Pywag coming out at an O with a two-point lead. Buff need a break right about now. Go yeah, back. you're right, Rob. When that wind picks up, it's surely um, surely not favourable to Buff with uh, the side of the field that they're on. Yeah, and about 10 minutes left in this game. So Buff want to get a break and get themselves within striking distance because if they just let Pywag and hold this offence here, as they have for multiple offensive points just before half, then... Pyrogan's got a three-point lead with only a few minutes left in the game, and it's not a good position for Buff to be in. So, Paul was bricked out the back of the field, being brought in by Sinclair. Looks like a little bit of a zone play here from from Buff. I like this. Changing this up, changing up the defensive tactic. Stoddard with the disc. Buff seem to be just limiting the options that he's got immediately around the disc. Sinclair on the sideline, looking for someone, looking for anything, finds Crosby on the far side of the field. She's looking, she's looking, she can't find an option. Crams it in the cram to Sinclair and he returns it straight back. Swings it to, uh, to Stoddard, Seckold. Looks like there's been a man transition. Back to Stoddard. He looks like he wants to put it through. It's really but sophisticated back defense. Back to Sinclair. To Seckhold. She puts it up. She puts it up. And Stoddard oh, brings Stoddard it down. With a grab. Yeah, really sophisticated defense of Buffy. I really like this change up in pace. And they're not fully just yielding the point. So we've often talked about zones as being high risk, high reward on the beach here. Um, and so. Pywagon showed their ability to just sort of outlast and take their break options, really use the width of the field against that zone defense. And then when they transition to a one-on-one -on -one match, just the patience to find the open player in the end zone. Yeah, you're right. It was great patience there from Pywagon. Even with the uh, the zone look, it seemed to uh, close off the immediate options that Pywagon had, but it didn't seem to phase them. They just kept the disc, moved it where they could. And then once the transition came, they pushed on through with the goal. All right, well, that's what we talked about. It's not a good position for Buff to be in. They're down three points. It's 8-5. Uh, they're coming on offense here. So this is an opportunity for them to stabilize, put themselves back into the game, and then start rolling on defense. They've got the time. There's enough minutes left. If they can get within striking distance, then time cap won't really be a factor. As Reed goes to Cherlin, back to Reed. These two have been very effective so far. Not getting any yards, but resetting effectively. Cherlin with the disc. Oh, finds Perryman under a lot of defensive pressure there. Finds Adlington. Adlington puts that one up. Jones is all alone. And she's got no receivers in front of her. Cherlin turns it on, but Jones puts it out in front. Reed's there. And that's nice. Buff showing that they can also just play clean, clinical offense. Showed their patience there. Very nicely done. Still need to get that break back though on uh, on Pywagon to be able to be fully in this game. Otherwise, Pywagon will just keep rolling the way they are and then take it out. Yeah, and full credit to them. But that's the easy part. You've got to get that done. You've got to keep yourselves in the game. And now they're at the chance to win. So you've got to get two breaks on the trot. But, you know, breaks come in twos. And they're down a good line here. A lot of height here on this buff line. See if they can match the pie wagon pace here. Buff going to be pulling up the pool. Just seems to be really taking their time on this line here. Wanting to set their defense. The hand is up though. Waiting for Pywagon. Pywagon's hand is up. Pull goes up by Plummer. Nice pull into the end zone. 
caught by Potsy. Just Stoddard. Just Stoddard. Back to Stoddard. Finds Seckhold in the middle of the field. To Stoddard on the sideline. He looks to centre it, but doesn't really have anyone to hit, so pops it into Potsy. Back to Stoddard. To Seckhold. She looks to center it, dumps it back to Stoddard directly behind her. Then to Stoddard, down the line a bit further. She's surveying her options, puts it through, right knocking on the door of the end zone line. She cuts down the line but can't quite get there. And it seems as if there's a hand block. Yeah, and that's just one of the massive weaknesses of advancing it all down that open side, really close to the sideline like that. Gets really predictable and, you know, hand blocks will happen like that. Highwagon weren't threatening anywhere other than that immediate open side. Seems to be really clustered through the field. Monaghan with the disc finds Barnes on this close sideline. Nice bid there to Monaghan. She's looking at her options, dumps backwards to Barnes, finds Plummer. He's looking, who can he throw to? Who can he throw to? Oh! Great grab from Great McKeon. Grab. Overthrows Monaghan there. And Pie Wagon get the disc back. Looking to stretch out this lead now. Potsy with the disc. To Stoddard. Straight through the center of the field. Great gainer to her husband there. To Cortez. She's looking for her options. To Stoddard in the center of the field. Puts it up. That's a honey pass right there. Unreal. That's great offense on Pie Wagon. And, you know, Buff really looked like they were threatening there. They got a block, but they couldn't get their offense rolling. They really put a lot of effort into getting that block and just looked a bit gassed when they had to play offense. And, you know, Pie Wagon have staved off a little bit of a pushback from Buff. And it's a 9 6 to them. Yeah, Buff on their offense there just looked a little bit. Looked a little bit. Uh, cramped, had, didn't have much space, everyone seems to be cutting into the same space, um, which can just which can just really kill you when you're out in the field. You want to, especially on the beach, you know, your legs get your legs get cooked pretty quickly, so you want to be making smart, efficient cuts, and when you're cutting, don't want anyone else to be cutting into that space. Yeah, Pyragon just sort of getting away with it there. They really were guilty of that same error themselves on that far sideline, just cramming a lot of players into a small space. And then just getting a bit of a gift back. So they'll be all right. Won't be too punished for that one. As we're knocking on the door of time cap here. It's still a three-point game. And a buff with the chance to shave that lead to two here. Perriman with the disc. Perriman advances it, but that is just knocked away. Bounces out of the hands of Tuka. Pie wagon. Chance to really ice the game here. So Buff have never looked like they were going to put on a four-point run. And if Pie wagon are able to just slot this one in nicely, that might put it out of reach. Short stack. Bring it in. Short stack. Climb with the Short disc. Stack. Greenfield in the dumb space. Short Short stack. And Hayes with the disc out the front here. Hayes back to Greenfield. Greenfield looking into the end zone. There's a player there. He's ready. But that is a pick. Yeah, I think there was a pick call there. She seemed to be out in acres of space. And generally, generally that doesn't usually happen. She's very good. But that disc will go back to Greenfield. And they'll have to do it again. It's Greenfield taking his time. Surveying his options. Oh, and it throws the exact same option for a score. Absolutely. I'm getting a bit of deja vu. If it worked once, let's do it again. And that's 10-6. Pie Wagon really, really closing out any hope of a buff pushback late in this game. Extending their lead, asserting their dominance on this game right now. Yeah, it's pretty rough. So the time cat's going to go any minute now. And then it'll be game to 11 or 12, depending on... Who scores this one? So, Buff mathematically in with a chance here. As a hooter goes. There's the hooter, so it will be game to 12. 
or oh, oh, 11. Yeah, game, yeah, sorry. Pensu scores. So. Pensu scores this one, yes. And Buff coming out on offense here. They really need a clean, efficient hold. They can't let it slip away. They've already got quite a mountain to climb. Jones has the disc. With Plummer now. Finds Barnes on the far sideline. Oh, outstretched Roxborough. Very nice. Nicely taken to Ford. He's looking. He's looking. He puts it up. He puts it up. Bit too far out in front for Barnes. Yeah, really trying to make something happen with his throws and looking for something and trying to execute the difficult throw. It's not a recipe for consistency. Uh, just giving uh, Pie Wagon just the opportunity to try and, you know, co one step closer to closing out this game, essentially. When they have the disc buff, just really need to treasure it and take the options that are given to them and try not to force anything. Plummer with a great D, though. Well read on that one. Yeah. It was a long look, but just didn't have the height that it needed. Finds Barnes. Barnes shooting into Finds the end zone. Finds Jones. Unreal. Oh. All right. Great eyes there. 10-7. Buff hang on. And that's a game to 11. It's a game to 11. Pie Wagon are going to come out on offense here as well. So already have the disc. Just need to score this one to close it out. Let's see if they can play some clinical offense like they have in, uh, in previous points. All right, we're running out of sun here, so I hope it's going to be soon. As we can see, by putting out a strong defensive line here, this is going to be one of their last cracks at it. If they're going to get a block and get a break, it's got to be now. They've given three game points to Pie Wagon, so not impossible. We saw bigger comebacks earlier today. We certainly did. But it's going to require a massive rally, a big change of pace, a change of intensity, change of mindset. High wagons certainly won't make that easy either. I mean, if Buff, if Buff get the D and manage to get this point, I can imagine Pie Wagon next point are only going to be very, very hungry for it. So Buff have their work cut out for them to take out this game. Yeah, we hear a lot of talk and the sideline's going to get involved here. Greenfield with some choice moves, amping up his team. They want to be icing it here. They don't want to be. Great pull there. Fielded by Potts. Up to Stoddard. In the centre there, playing with the disc. Sackold on the wing here. Takes a time. Looks off Stoddard on the inside. Finds Potts in the handler space. Potts elects not to shoot. Finds Stoddard on the under. Stoddard goes around. The other Stoddard has the disc. Shoots inside. And Potts has the disc. Almost fumbles it there, Rob. Did you see that one? Absolutely. The he look of relief on his face. Yeah, it was really... You can see Reed was coming in there, looking to do something. And it nearly rattled him enough, but Potts able to stay strong and grab that. Pie Wagon taking that one out. That's two Ws on the streams today for Pie Wagon. Yeah, they're definitely a strong team. And they've shown it. It's an 11-7 victory, so... That's a wrap for our filming of day one here at the Australian Beach Ultimate Championships. Join us tomorrow. There's going to be a whole lot more exciting action. A few more pool games at the start of the day. And then finals in the afternoon. I've been your commentator, Rob Swan. I'm Oakley Reinen. And it's been our pleasure to have you. Catch you tomorrow, guys. Alti.tv.